I was the youngest in a family of four, but I was the only boy. My dad had passed away shortly after I was born, and our family struggled financially. In my early years, I wore my sister's hand-me-down baby clothes, but by the time I turned three, I finally began to wear boys' clothes. Those early years were a blur, and I had no clue about my past or why I was different. My sisters, Kat, Carrie, and Penny, were all significantly older than me, with the closest one being six years my senior. When I was eight, I started to discover who I was. Kat, the oldest, was entering serious relationships with boys. Carrie was exploring fashion as her feminine figure developed, and Penny was beginning to blossom into her womanhood. I grew up in a feminine environment, and I was incredibly close to my sisters. As the years went by, though, I began to feel a growing distance between us. They were constantly talking about their lives as women, and I started to feel left out. Around the age of 10, I couldn't help but wonder why I had to wear dull boxers and undershirts while they got to wear soft, expressive bras and panties. I buried these thoughts, fearing that I'd be seen as a freak for wanting to wear girls' clothes. Another year passed, and the divide between us grew wider. Kat had graduated college and was engaged, Carrie was away at college, and Penny was starting her senior year of high school. It was shortly before my 11th birthday when my desires finally got the best of me. I couldn't resist the temptation any longer, so I secretly tried on a pair of Penny's bra and panties along with a t-shirt and shorts. The joy I felt was overwhelming. On my 11th birthday, as I blew out the candles, I made a wish. I wished to be Elena, the youngest sister. Afterward, I asked for my mother and sister's attention and confessed my feelings. Growing up with three sisters was an adventure, but last year I began to feel like I was losing you guys, I said. A couple of weeks ago, I put on a bunch of Penny's clothes and I loved it. I was wondering if you three could teach me how to be your youngest sister. My sisters blushed and apologized for the divide that had unintentionally formed between us. But they happily agreed. And so began my journey as Elena, four years later, living as a completely female version of myself, supported by the family who had always been there for me. My sisters embraced my request with open hearts. They became my mentors, guiding me through the intricacies of being a girl. From makeup tutorials to fashion advice, they patiently taught me the things I had missed growing up as a boy. I vividly remember the day we went shopping for my first set of clothes. It was an exhilarating experience. Walking through the aisles filled with dresses, skirts, and blouses, I couldn't help but feel a newfound sense of belonging. My sisters helped me pick out outfits that matched my personality, and for the first time, I felt like I was expressing myself authentically. As time passed, I grew more confident in my identity as Elena. My sisters and I became even closer, sharing stories, secrets, and laughter like never before. They stood by me as I faced the challenges of being a transgender girl, offering unwavering support and love. It wasn't just my family who accepted me, my friends at school also embraced the real me. I found allies among my classmates, and together, we created a safe and inclusive environment. High school brought new opportunities and adventures. I joined clubs, made friends, and even had my first crush. With my sister's guidance, I navigated the complexities of relationships, learning about the joys and heartaches that come with them. My journey as Elena wasn't without its challenges. There were moments of doubt and insecurity, but my family's love and support helped me overcome them. I underwent hormone therapy and, eventually, gender-affirming surgery, aligning my outward appearance with my true self. My graduation day was a milestone I had once thought was impossible. Standing on that stage as Elena, I felt a profound sense of accomplishment. My family beamed with pride, knowing how far I had come on this remarkable journey. Today, I am a confident and happy young woman, living authentically as Elena. My sisters, Kat, Carrie, and Penny, remain my pillars of strength and support. Our bond is unbreakable, forged through the trials and triumphs of my transformation. As I look back on my life, I'm grateful for the courage to embrace my true self and for the love of a family that stood by me every step of the way. My story is a testament to the power of love, acceptance, and the strength to be true to oneself, no matter the obstacles.